Hey everybody, it's Brian over at Showcase Agency. If you already own a home and you're gonna go buy another one, you might be wondering what kind of options you have when you make an offer to buy your next house. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. You've got two options. Uh, one is to make a non-contingent offer, one is to make a contingent offer. And what we're gonna talk about right now is the contingent offer. So what does that even mean? Well, real simple, it just means when you're offering to buy someone else's home, it's contingent on the sale of your house. So you're saying, I'm gonna buy your home, but I've gotta sell my house before I can buy it. And that's a very, very common type of offer. It's a very common type of transaction where a person is selling one home in order to go buy uh, the next house. So uh, that's what a uh, uh, contingent offer is. It's the most common. Uh, sellers would prefer a non-contingent offer because it's more certain because that person that's offering non-contingent is able to close on the, on the new house without selling their old house. So, uh, so that's a little bit about how it works. And there's a couple of things you should know if you do go the route of making a contingent offer. And the first thing to know is to make sure that the contract is protecting your earnest money. So when you go into, con into escrow, you're gonna put in earnest money. All of a sudden that earnest money can be put at risk if your contingency to sell your other property was somehow removed but you hadn't sold the property yet. So you wanna keep that contingency of property in place the entire uh, time of the transaction. So that's one thing to know. The second thing to know is when you're selling one property to go buy another property, it's a more complex transaction. There's more moving parts. There's more things that have to happen that are tied to other things that have to happen. So, and then you also have kind of like two sets of uh, deadlines and two sets of timelines that you're trying to meet. So don't let that get frustrating. Don't get overwhelmed by it. But just remember that when you're going through escrow and you're, uh, con you know, have a contingent offer, you're selling your property, you're buying another, make sure that you're uh, jumping on all of your uh, uh, tasks and items that you have to get completed on your side. Like if you have to fill out escrow paperwork or you need to get homeowner's insurance or you got to hire a home inspector for the next house. Get all of that stuff done as fast as possible because it is gonna make things a whole lot easier for you when you get towards the end and you're gonna have these two transactions closing probably within you know a few days of each other or maybe just a day of each other. So hope you found this helpful. If you are gonna go uh, uh, buy another home and you've already got a home, uh, you might find our new report helpful. You can pick it up at showcasemoveup.com and if you uh, are looking for more videos on buying and selling, maybe you're interested in converting the house that you have now into a rental property before you go buy your next house, we've got lots of great videos on Showcase YouTube. And if you've got questions about any of this stuff, reach out to us. We're always happy to help. And you can schedule a call at showcasecall.com.